morning. It's Vlogmas Day 12. Holy, holy. Um, it's before kids early, but not too early. Danny's gone out riding. The mum and dad are up and about. The kids are still sleeping. This is unheard of in our house. <laughs> Uh, I have a lot to fit in today. Danny's going away again, uh, this afternoon for the night. So I need to fit in a lot in that time when he's here with the kids. But I just, I'm feeling a little, Whew. so I'm going to watch some peppy booktube videos, not the coming relaxing ones. I'll save those for the end of the day. But the ones where people are getting stuff done um, and get a bit of extra motivation because I just got up, but then I piled the pillows behind me and brought my cup of tea back into bed. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I will um, check in with you after I've caught everybody else's excitement and motivation for the day. And I'm not going to watch the ones where people are reading a lot because that'll just make me sad. Okay, I just wanted to say good morning. One of the wonderful things about working from home is that I can do it early in the morning and the kids are still asleep and get stuff done on the school holidays. That's also one of the bad things about working from home. I'm just going to smash out a bit of work this morning while I can and um, yeah. Just trying to fit it all in, people. This is what the title of this vlog is going to be. Just just trying to fit it all in. It's my life at the moment. Right, I got to work. Bye. <laughs> Guys, hello. I escaped. I've got a two hour window. Well, Danny has to leave again. Yesterday I drove past the Vinnies that I go to, the used op shop for the used books, and they're having a filler bag sale again for six dollars. So I'm gonna race there now and do that because that makes me happy. Gotta do those things first, right? And then I need to find a couple of little tables from op shops just there's so much going on. Oh gosh, this is the festive season and we have a granny flat and it's full of people for the next two weeks at least. So sort of this rotating families coming through, which is wonderful, but it's a lot of um, preparation. So I just need a couple of tables to make them a bit more comfortable. I should have done this long before now, but our nephew and his family are arriving tomorrow. Yeah, so I've left it to the last minute. So I need to do that and I need to get the groceries and I need to get home by 12 and it's now 10. So come with me on this bloody fast paced little shopping expedition. Why are my days so, ugh. remember? Do you remember those vlogs where I just sat and I read and I cleaned and that was it. I used to be so bored. <laughs> okay guys, um, yeah, I should concentrate on the road. I'll, um, I'll take you with me on shopping. Sad news, fill bag sales ended. Oh, so sad. So, all I've got left is groceries. So I did groceries and then just pop into Kmart and try and find a couple of little things and then, um, yeah, and then get home. So I'm, I've got an hour 40. We need a countdown clock. <laughs> I can do it. God, Aldi is busy, man. <laughs> Christmas time grocery shopping is the worst. Am I right? I'm right. Oh, okay. Give me strength, people. Give me strength. Okay, 
okay time check we're at 11 20 and i went on we're at 11 o'clock five past 11 we're doing good i could have done that grocery shop a lot faster if there weren't so many people dawdling i shop at aldi is aldi all around the world because aldi has the magic aisle with all of the the treats in it and people need to slow down and go 10 deep to look at you know a pair of ski gloves in summer i don't know bloody hell <sighs> take a breath this is what grocery shopping this is what everyday life feels like at this time of year i'm just going to go to this op shop and see if they've got a table do it super quick and then i can get home unpack my groceries tag with danny he can leave i can do work oh i need lunch for the kids who owns an island and a private jet if you do hook a girl up i <laughs> need it I got a little table. Nine dollars. Can't go wrong. There's only one there. Shame, hey. Okay. Home time. Home time. Guys, I'm in the trenches a bit. Work is like seriously struggle town. It's just lots of lots of walls I've butted my head against today. So I'm still going. I'm about to have three more children over here. It's about to get chaotic with them. And I still need to finish off the granny flat. We move things around because my nephew comes tomorrow. I told you that, right? So yeah, there's just a lot to do. And the day's flown by. I did make delicious pasta for lunch. I did make a delicious pineapple and mint slushy. And I've got baked beans in the slow cooker, so I've done that. But I've got to go back in there. See that door? That traps me. Anyway, we'll talk later tonight. Denny's away for the night. So I can bunker down in bed and read if I get there within the right time frame. So, yeah. We need to pick... Um, a book off my 40 before 40 project because I need to get started on that if I'm going to achieve that goal um, that's all I just wanted to check in with you I haven't forgotten about you just you know just working I don't want to be I want to be reading and talking to you guys anyway I'll, I'm walking through the door I've got to stay focused on this and I'll chat with you guys again soon hi I can't tell you how big of a day I have had. Um, it's nearly 8.30 and I'm really just sitting down in my green chair for the first time and I've been going at work and organising for since 6 o'clock this morning. I'm just bucket, just bucket. But the exciting thing about doing vlogs and the exciting thing about doing daily vlogs is you can't hide, right? In a weekly vlog, you can just kind of catch up with the reading or catch up with the projects that you want to do, you know, in a couple of days and then nobody will ever know. Whereas daily vlogging is a whole different ballgame because, like, you have to produce something, right? You have to feel like, you're uploading something that is not just a whinge fest, <laughs> which today has been. I totally get that. So what I wanted to do today and what I had planned to do much earlier in the day was make a TBR jar. Yes, you heard me right. I have never had a TBR jar and I get really excited watching people pull out things from tbr jars and i decided that i should do it for my 40 before 40 project because otherwise i'm just going to gravitate towards like i want to I, I do want to read all of those books but there are some in there that are particularly awesome and i think i'll just read all of those and then get discouraged by leaving the not so awesome in my mind ones till the end 
So I think a TBR jar would serve me well there because I will randomly be reading. So I probably need to get a jar and some paper. Okay, let's do that. Way to motivate me, daily vlogs, huh? Way to make things happen, daily vlogs, huh? That's the way. <gasps> In other exciting news, I don't know if anybody was following the daily challenges I did for my birthday month on Instagram, but I lost this. It was lost. And today, it's my cross stitch. And today it was found. And it was found underneath the cushions on the couch. So my feeling is that that didn't accidentally land there. Like it is claimed by two little boys that maybe a, some frisbee action was had <laughs> with my cross stitch. Okay, right. Let me, um, let me get my TBR jar sorted. Let me get paper and stuff. Hang on. I did it. <laughs> I, I did it. I made a little plate of titles. I haven't even consulted my TBI cup, but there's nothing that's pulling me there. I need to read the next section of the 13th tale because one of my buddies, Cully's already checked in. So I need to do that. Um, not tonight, but I also feel like I need some new blood there and I need to finish those other novels. I know, and I know, and I know, but just want to pull let's do some maths actually so oh there's my pile to take to the op shop gosh everything's a bit of a mess today i'm sorry i've got 40 books um and i need to finish them by november so that's 11 books oh, so that's 11 months so what does that mean do i need to read like at least three a month but three a month would only be 33 and if i read four a month that would be 44. is that right i need to read at least three a month to even come close to making this happen so the 13th tale of part of it i'm reading that now so i need to pick two more to finish this month at least here i'll put you down again okay um, so I need to pick two more out to do for my December reads. I should really pick three, but we'll run with two. Because the way my days are going, I'm just, I'm going to be flat out reading three books this month. Okay, let's do these things. Do these things. The miniaturist. That could be cool. Where is it? Here. I would like to read this. By Jesse Burton. That's exciting. Okay. So that's one. Well, that's the second one because I've got the 13th tail. Okay, let's pull another one out of here and make that my December TBR. Eucalyptus. I'm not too excited about that, am I? Oh, that's not eucalyptus. By Murray Bale. It's, it's probably one of the ones I would have left to last, if I'm honest, but okay, this is good. So the three books I'm reading from my 40 Before 40 project are these two and The 13th Tale. Okay, I feel a bit clearer in my head from having done that. That feels really good. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> now I don't know what to do with that information because like I just want to go to bed. I'm going to go put these on the TBI cart and just resort that because I'm, I'm not enjoying it. Every time I look at it, it kind of makes me do this. So here, come with me. This is the cart. The 13th tail stays on there. And now we add the miniaturist and eucalyptus. Carpenteria is being put on hold because it's dense as hell and... Nobody got time for that in December. T 
Tests of the Dubvilles. I've just totally dropped out of this book and I don't know how to get myself back in there. Let's make that a New Year's, a 2020 problem. The Year of the Runaways, I would really like to keep here because I was really kind of enjoying it. So that stays on there. My sister gave me this to read and I have wanted to read this for a really, really long time. So that stays on there. Oh, I haven't told you about this. She also gave me, it's a bit big now, but this is The Parasites by Daphne du Maurier. Now, if you've been around for a long time, you will know that Daphne du Maurier and I do not get along. I read Rebecca and I didn't like it. And I read something else. Oh God, what was that? And I didn't like it. And I, I went, I'm done with Daphne du Maurier. But my sister has such fantastic taste in books. We don't always get along with the book recommendations, but I was just so surprised that she gave me a Daphne du Maurier book. And it makes me really want to read it just to kind of scratch the itch and work out if this is if this is a really good one I just it's that FOMO thing right but yeah I just I was so surprised so I'm gonna keep that here for sure um this was for novellas in November and I was keeping it there because it was part of my reading women's challenge thing that I was doing but I'm not doing that anymore I cleared all that off yesterday didn't I and then Tim Winton was a novellas in November hangover a little life is just sitting here. Daniela, I don't know. Are you out there? Her and I started this buddy read and we're going to get it done. And then life got in the way for both of us. But also once you step out and then you're faced with this huge book, it's hard to pick it up again, right? So, yeah, so it's going to be a 2020 problem. Okay, look, we've got some jobs done at the end of the day. That feels nice. So I've picked my books. I need to start reading them at some stage. But tonight I'm going to just end this now and I'm going to go to bed. I am going to crash out. Life got a hold of me today. Um, tomorrow is a big cleaning morning, huge cleaning morning. It's just all I do, isn't it? It's just all I do. The festive season has begun and this is what Natalia looks like for most of the festive season. But let's keep pulling through and re the, what the daily vlogs are doing for me is refocusing me on books, which I need. I need that pull back into what makes me happy rather than just trying to get everything done, you know. Anyway, that's where we're at. I'm so sorry, guys. I feel like I need to apologise for the shittiness of this vlog. Tomorrow. We'll just see what tomorrow brings. But expect a cleaning montage as soon as you start tomorrow's vlog. But for now, I'm going to bed. I'm done. Good night, guys.